All right, so how you all doing boys? Hope you're doing well now in today's video. No, we're a little bit late to this one. We're going to be finally finishing off the King of Fighters showcases. Now, well, I say showcase, I'm probably going to do maybe one or two more of the certain teams I want to run, but at least getting all of the characters done with our girl Athena here. Now, I actually only just got recently got Athena. I never ended up playing her in the first King of Fighters summons, but here she is. Now, if you guys don't know what Athena does, her first skill here, inflict, uh, cancel stances on one enemy and inflicts damage equal to 500% of attack, then stuns for one turn. Definitely a card that works a lot better at three star than it does on one star. The second one here inflicts detonate damage equal to 400% of attack on one enemy. The ultimate, which we do in the other one six, cancel stances on one enemy and inflicts damage equal to 700% of attack. I feel as if they're working some barn teams where, you know, you kind of have the Arthur spamming that nameless dance up using this to maybe to remove that and maybe, you know, throughout the Marred ultimate instead to kind of try and kill Barn or something could work pretty well. But looking at the passive, which is the main kind of reason you'd use it, depletes two orbs from the ultimate move, gauges of all enemies at the end of the turn when an ally hero defeats an enemy during an allied turn in PvP. Basically, long story short, you kill someone, it removes two orbs from all of the opponents. So really, really good passive works really, really well in brawl mode. This is where you kind of see her most due to the fact that the auto just attacks whatever. Usually people like to run those, you know, kind of suicide Elizabeth, suicide Dreyfuses and get full ultimate gauge. You know the story, but now looking at the Holy Relic, which might I say is definitely one of the coolest Holy Relics we've gotten so far. If the hero is hit by an enemy skill and takes 30% or more of max HP in damage, the hero recovers HP by 40% of the damage taken. So really, really good. Kind of like a mini Rugal passive in a way. It's a little bit, and it doesn't cap out a certain amount of tries as well. This can literally go on forever if you also, you know, have excess healing, otherwise you will eventually die. But jumping over to the closet here, I haven't really invested in any of the costumes just kind of purchased them all and for the equipment here we are running our uh, attack crit damage set from Meliodas. So I completely forgot I had this set and I've been using Kios which is quite a bit worse than this one but this is the thing we're using today just don't really feel as if though she's gonna fit on the like go through all the barn team so using her alongside Margaret with the death pierce in the back and yeah let's jump right into it. Our first opponent and an Elizabeth Esnor team I definitely feel as if though I've been seeing Elizabeth quite a bit more as of recent, I don't know why, like there's not been no change in meta or anything. She's just been popping up a whole lot more and she's still just as annoying as ever. I know there's been a whole bunch of units and like a whole ton of power creep as well to kind of try and like nullify her. If we're using the $40 million celebration Gotha, it is just a breeze these matchups, but it's unfortunate we do have to deal with the shield, which granted, you know, we did get the extra rank up and we can get that level three breath of bless going. If we get an extra rank up in the next turn as well, that would be nice rank up those Athena cards, but I actually did already try and record this video. This was probably, probably th it was what three days ago when the PvP reset actually happened. And my oh my, did I just get absolutely flawed? There was not a single match I won. All the whales are out since you know PvP reset did happen, and it was just not a good time to say the least. But we're here now. It's been a couple of days. We recorded our Miguelda showcase, which went fairly well. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to do well at all. In all honesty, she actually got some surprising numbers in one or two of the matches, which I was super happy about. But now nah, it's now that we're a little further on in the week we'll try this one out there and margaret taking a ton of damage geez uh let's see i mean if we can get Escanor as low as possible i think i might go for this one just so we can get a tiny bit of lifesteal on the margaret as well gonna help out a ton might actually proc revive on elizabeth right away yeah <laughs> god damn i mean 100,000 from a one star card that's okay and here's the second one 200 that Granted, that is against Elizabeth, and you're basically guaranteed crit, but that was some impressive damage. And we got the four for a Kyo Margaret team. Definitely glad that we're seeing a whole lot more Kyo since the King of Fighters came out. Like with his Holy Relic and whatnot, and the fact that it's been given out for free and all of that stuff, we have been seeing him a ton. And this is actually a good time to show off what both the three star cards do without any Breath of Bless, so without any damage reduction from the enemy team as well. No stacks from the Gotha passive as well, which is nice. Could we potentially get a turn one kill on Margaret? No, if we had a crit, we definitely could have, but getting the two turns, uh, actually I believe it's only one turn stun, but that's all right, we can easily finish her off on one of these next turns. Uh, I do hope I actually get a match or two where, you know, showing off the, actually if he rushes go throughout here, it'd be perfect to show it off, but killing one of these side units and say, you know, freeing up some space in their hand to get the ultimate, and then her passive kicks in and it removes the ult gauge. And honestly, it's really clutch and she's probably a lot better of a unit to like put in the back then she's like taken for but i don't know there's just like 
running a death pierce in the back is so so good on these Margaret teams and nowadays if you have the holy relic for barn running him in the back and just almost any team is just like an extremely top tier option but throwing that one out might kill here on accident as well yeah that's right but as you'll see here and that should remove all of the okay so no it only applies once so we do only remove the two alt gauge orb there there we go we're learning as well so it only happens once per turn which is nice to see uh i might I might hold on to this turn. I'll rank up this card here and throw it out on Zeldris. He's a tiny bit squishier than Gothra, and we'll see what kind of damage we can do before we get into the next match. There we go. Rank up. One and two. But I definitely like what they did with the Holy Relic. The fact that it actually matches one of her skins. Rugal, unfortunately, didn't get that treatment, but 220,000 with the, I think it was two star breath of blast is not too bad. But I mean, from those first two matches alone, I'd say Athena's definitely putting out a lot better damage than Miguelda was, that's for sure. And the passive is probably like, she actually has the passive in PvP, unlike Miguelda. It's, I know Miguelda isn't by any means made for this content, but... Uh, what do we want to go for? Merge you over there, and I think we might start this one. Uh, from the loading time with this one as well, it's definitely a real player, which is definitely scary. Terry Barn oh, is the best team at the moment, and actually just due to how good it is, I think I might end up getting myself Excalibur, Arthur's Holy Relic next. I mean, I definitely do want to get the one for Gotha first. I can I can actually get that right now, I believe. But yeah, I do definitely want to get Excalibur's Arthur because like, if I just completely wail out the team and like, granting no, I'm not the kind of person to farm top 100. We did just miss out on the top 100 guild thrown as well, which is unfortunate. And my oh my, that was a lot of damage. Holy. Are they going to force us to... Uh, which which card is it that gets the the orb one gets not the other one? Okay, um, do you get it at two star as well, please? Stun's only at three star. Okay, geez, we're ranking up for you, and we're gonna hope in these next couple turns we can do some damage. Hopefully, he has a low like ultimate terrier who doesn't have any extra counters because he's going to get some crazy amounts of damage from this ultimate. I can't wait to see more units get his kind of ultimate. It's definitely like a top tier. I mean. Who knows, maybe by the time this video is out, we have the two and a half anniversary king. And maybe he has that ultimate from, I'm super, super excited for the anniversary king, by the way. There's another counter. I mean, there's no way Gertha survives it. Uh, yeah, there's no way half my team survives this. Yikes, I mean, that's just the power of Barn Terry. I was actually meant to get two videos recorded this afternoon and I think I'll be able to see this one. Uh, but yeah, no, I've recently, I only just got home and it's 8.30. Uh, actually I actually just got my first tattoo, so that was kind of, that was fun and all. Uh, we'll go for the double rank up on Margaret there, there's no way we don't. Only annoying thing about this though is he definitely has the Amelia Freeze to kind of just remove all of those buffs from whoever he chooses. So regardless of if he goes Margaret or Athena, that's bad for us, but uh, yeah, no, that was good fun. The tattoo didn't hurt an awful lot. It's, uh, after a little while, you kind of just forgot about it. Let's see here. I might try and get two videos in, like, tomorrow, though, so... We'll see, we'll see. Definitely... Definitely want to try out more Miguel the teams. I'm hoping I can get it to work just... Just slightly better, maybe on, like, a Lolly team, or... There's a couple things I want to try. Maybe even, like, a Kyo and Iori team. Could be really cool. Putting the... Putting the freeze on Gotha. Definitely a... Definitely a strange pick there. Uh, who do we want to go for in this one? I feel as if they're killing you is probably our best bet, so we'll start throwing those off. The second we can start using our twin... Yeah, that was actually some impressive damage. Yo, are we gonna... There's... You really just had to not kill there just for the showcase. That's that's unfortunate, but uh, the second we can start like using our buffs and like our two and three star cards, it's going to be a whole lot better for us. Rushing the Merlin ultimate as well. It's it's not this one that does the stun, is it? Yeah, it's a detonate card. Ugh. The fact that only stuns on... Oh, like... Granted, you know, if it's stunned on the two star, it'd be kind of just like a buff versions of Elizabeth's. I mean, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping this kills Gotha. Oh yeah, no, that 100% kills Gotha. Damn. With the level three, I just, sometimes I forget how crazy, just like how much stronger some units become with that level three Breath of Bless. Like, it's really a game changer. Let's see, killing the Gotha in the middle there. We're frozen with which is fine because the ultimate will remove it anyway and actually prime example there due to the fact that we killed the Gotha we removed the ultimate melon. I didn't even I wasn't even thinking about removing that one but that's 100% going for Margaret and she lives jeez 
I mean, she doesn't survive the turn, but hey, that was pretty good there. The fact she didn't get crit was nice. Oh, look, and, and Margaret's frozen there. Yeah, Athena's definitely not gonna, like, you know, make us win against any of these top tier teams. And our final opponent, eh, another Escanor Margaret team. I mean, I'm surprised at just how many people have out here seen in this video. We've done pretty, pretty good job. I mean, granted, you know, we haven't had the craziest showcase of Athena. We've at least showed off her passive quite a bit and some fairly decent hits from her as well. She's almost killed. Almost killed a couple opponents, you know, in just one turn, which is pretty nice. Definitely, if she had the UR gear attack set, she'd be a lot better. But, you know, if you're using her, you're putting her in the back. You wanted to have that HP defense set. It's same with the same situation with Mai. It's just like the unit has fallen off too much and they're like too old of a unit for me to build UR gear for him. Granted, you know, if it was someone like whose unit I don't have UR gear for. Oh, uh, I'm actually struggling with this. Let's say. Taizu. Let's say I build you our gift for Taizu. There's at least a chance we're going to get newer versions of him. So that could very well become useful and like not just an entire waste. But there's there's very, very low. Don't get me wrong. We could very well get a like, not like a, another rerun of King of Fighters, but because we got King of Fighters version like 98 or something, we could very well get a different King of Fighters game and maybe have my return in that. But we just have to see. I don't know. It's just not saying I'm going to do granted, you know. Her damage, even with the SSR gear, was real, real impressive. I was super happy with how she went, but granted, you know, both of the units we've shown off in these past two videos are either A, not made for PvP, or B, backline units. So it's all right not having them just completely pop off, you know? What do I want to do for this one? I uh, if Margaret, yeah, perfect. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Surely we kill Essen all this turn, right? We'll go one, two, and three. Surely, right? Surely we get a couple crits off with the Athene there and finish. Actually, no, Margaret just did. Margaret just did way too much damage, my bad. Yeah, yeah. That Phoenix arrow card is actually fairly strong, and it's just like a regular damage card. And look at that Raven Killing Assault Meliodas as well. God damn. Absolutely no wolves for Gotha there. I mean, hey, look, she hasn't done terrible. We won most of our matches, so that's a thing. There we go, and that just about does it for today's showcase. But I mean, yeah, I'm happy with how she went. I'm definitely glad that we've finally showed all of the King of Fighters characters. Definitely do expect a couple more showcases within the next coming week. I mean, I feel as if though I definitely have a like good feeling that they're going to not give us a dead week and just push the like two and a half anniversary basically on the same week as us as the JP. You know, there is definitely a small chance that they do give us a dead week for you know some time to recover. We did just have a collaboration and all, so. You know, lots of gems were spent, spent there, but I mean, just look at this holy relic. Before we wrap up the video, look at how sick that is. But I mean, that just about does it for today's video. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Really means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys for some more. Grand Cross content.